Hello everyone, welcome to Real Online Tutorials, the online education channel. Today in our video we are going to discuss the traits of effective project leaders. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe my channel. So today we are going to discuss the traits of an effective project leader. After conducting several studies, about like how managers felt were important for leaders to possess, we find out that the most important characteristic of superior leaders was the honesty. For the project manager to be honest, it's something very crucial and important. We should take into consideration the competence, the level of intelligence, the project manager, and here we are talking about it as a project leader, he should have a good vision. He should be able to inspire the other, such as team members. He should be able to give them the right direction, to organize them. to explain what are the vision and where we are going to reach and what we are going to reach also. He should be fair with all the team members. He should treat every person in the same way. Dependability also is very important. And credibility, the project manager should be trusted and taken seriously by both the project team and the parent organization. He should also be a creative problem solver. He should be highly skilled in identifying and analyzing any problem that may be encountered by himself. We should have creative ideas to solve problems. Flexible management style. He should handle and he should be able to handle rapidly the changing situation. He should be flexible. We are dealing within a dynamic and a challengeable environment where everything is becoming totally different. Uh, there is a lot of changes, so he should be very flexible in handling the changing situations. Effective communication skills. As we know, the project leaders, uh, they talk too much and they uh, have a lot of meetings with their team members, with stakeholders, so they should have and uh, possess like strong communication skills, they should be able to operate at the focal point for communication from a variety of stakeholders. Organizing under conflict. The project managers need the abilities to delegate, to manage their time, to manage their work, and to handle conflict in professional manner. So they should prevent facing conflicts, even if they face any uh, kind of conflict, they should have the ability to manage this conflict in a professional uh, way through negotiation and through having uh, the right characteristics of like leading this conflict, because any person may be able to face a conflict, but or you are professional, you are patient, you are calm, and you know how to navigate within this conflict, so you will be leading the conflict, or the conflict is going to lead you. But here is the problem. If you don't have, uh, or you don't control the conflict, and then 
it will it will be like affecting you negatively and being skilled enough to know how to deal with the conflict and how to uh, find the right solutions through negotiations through uh, solving this uh, uh, gap or problem in your uh, own way based on previous experience or uh, maybe uh, through negotiation with other important people or expert in order to manage this conflict and try to solve this problem in a professional way. The experience having knowledge of project management and other organizational procedures. Experience is very important. Here, sometimes we may find like experience with technical challenges. It's a background that may help a lot the leader to have knowledge about everything he's going to work on or to practice or to uh, do from project management to other organizational procedures. Decision making, project managers require sound judgment so they should know how to analyze this may require systematic analytical ability in order to make the right decision productive creativity they need to show creativity they should develop and implement innovative ideas and challenge the old established order. Organizing with cooperation, as we know that the project managers must be willing to create a positive team atmosphere. So they should demonstrate a willingness to learn and engage in positive interpersonal contact. Cooperative leadership. Here, the skill refers to the project manager's ability to motivate the others, to cooperate with the others, and to express ideas clearly. We should take here into consideration also the integrative thinking, where the project managers need to be able to think analytically and to involve others in the decision-making process. Thank you for watching my channel.